Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circles using circle theorems. In the above figure, O is the center of the circle and PS is a tangent to the circle at point P. If angle RPS is given as 55 degrees and angle PSR is given as 25 degrees, find angle PQO. That is, they have asked to find the small angle PQO over here. Now, to begin with, let us consider the triangle PRS. Now, in this triangle, we can see that angle P is given, angle S is given. So, let us try to find the angle R using the angle sum property of the triangle. So, we can write it as 180 degrees minus 55 minus 25. So this gives us angle R and its value is going to be 100 degrees. So let us write over here 100. Now once we have got this, angle QRP acts as an exterior angle to the triangle PRS and QRS acts as a straight line. So we can find out this angle by subtracting the 100 degrees from 180 so 180 minus 100 gives us 80 degrees. So we have angle QRP as 80 degrees. So let me write the value only. Now to find out the angle PQO, let us concentrate on the triangle PRQ. Now in this triangle PRQ, I am going to make another construction that is I am going to join the point P with point O. That is over here. Now once we do this, we are going to use a circle theorem which is given as angle at the center theorem. Now this circle theorem I have discussed in many of my previous videos on circle theorems. So if you are aware about this theorem, you can try the above example on your own and check the answers. So anyways, angle at the center is two times angle at the circumference of the circle. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle and marked two points on it A and B and the center of the circle is at O. Now let me draw an angle from point A towards the center and then towards B. Now the same two points on the circle are going to make an angle at the circumference of the circle say maybe at point C. Now this is the angle at the center made by the points A and B. And this is the angle at the circumference made by the points A and B. So according to the given statement of the theorem, angle at the center, which is angle AOB in this case, is always two times the angle at the circumference of the circle, which is angle ACB. Now this means that if the angle at the circumference is say for example 40 degrees, then we have the angle at the circumference as 2 times 40 degrees, which is going to be 80. So here it's going to be 80. Now the vice versa is also possible. That is, if we have the angle at the center given as, say, 100 degrees. So at the circumference, it is going to be half of 100, which is going to be 50 degrees. So we are going to use this theorem to solve the example above. Now let us consider the points P and Q which are on the circle. Now these two points make an angle at the center of the circle at point O and the same two points make an angle on the circumference of the circle at point R. And we had already found out the value of angle R as 80 degrees. So using the theorem we just learned, that is angle at the center which is POQ in this case is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference which is PRQ. So here we have PRQ given as 80. So 2 times 80 which is 160 degrees. Now we have the angle at the center as 160. So once we got to know the angle at the center, let us consider the triangle POQ. 
Now in this triangle POQ, side OP and side OQ are the radius of the circle. And since two sides of this triangle are same, triangle POQ acts as an isosceles triangle. So let us consider that the angle Q is X. So we have the angle P also acting as X. So using the angle sum property, we can write angle PQO plus angle QPO plus angle at the center, which is angle POQ is equal to 180 degrees. And here we have taken the angle PQO and QPO as X. So we can replace here X plus X plus angle at the center. We got it as 160 is equal to 180. Or adding the two X's, we get 2X plus 160 is equal to 180 degrees. So rearranging this equation, we have 2X is equal to 180 minus 160 or this gives us 2x is equal to 20 or dividing the 20 by 2 we get 10 degrees. So the small angle that is PQO is 10 degrees. So we have found out PQO is 10. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, please comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.